My name is Justin Morgan. I'm the Emergency Planning Officer at Bulby Mine, which is in North Yorkshire. At Bulby, we mine potash, salt and polysulfate. Bulby Mine is roughly between 1100 metres and 1400 metres deep. Uh, we have roadways which total to about 600 kilometres and we've got approximately 600 workers uh, working underground 24 hours a day. At Bulby, my responsibilities lie with running and managing the underground rescue teams uh, and the surface rescue teams for the plant and our team at Tees Dock. The underground rescue team consists of about 28 members. Uh, they're drawn from all across the workforce. We have some very senior managers and some very junior miners. The rescue team train six times a year and carry out various criteria which generally focuses on scenarios underground which may involve casualties or situations where we have escapes of toxic gas. This aims to equip them with the skills and knowledge to deal with any incident that we may face as an operating mine. The mine's rescue team are equipped with the Draeger VG4 self-contained oxygen generating breathing apparatus. The rescue team are equipped with highly reflective green overalls and helmets. This is a distinctive uniform within the mine. This allows the rescue team to be highly visible during any rescue situation. Should there be an emergency situation in the mine where there was a release of toxic gas, workers would enter a system of safe havens, of which at the moment there are 14 located throughout the mine, and this would become a place of refuge where they could await rescue. In the event that the situation couldn't be made safe, the rescue team would then be able to enter the safe haven and rescue the trapped personnel with the use of the cart. So the cart, or compressed air rescue trolling, has been developed over the past year to assist us in rescuing people from the mine. The cart consists of uh, a rescue stretcher on a trolley, which is mobile, the rescue team use this uh, as standard equipment, uh, they can also use this to transport casualties. The actual cart itself consists of six breathing air cylinders which is then linked to a compressed air manifold. This is then distributed via eight hoods. Eight persons can be rescued from a safe haven with these hoods. Prior to entering the safe haven, the rescue team use gas monitors to check the levels of gas um, to establish if it is safe or if it is a dangerous environment. They will then enter the safe haven uh, and communicate to the people inside that they should be wearing their emergency hoods. The rescue team will check to make sure the casualties are all okay and treat any that require assistance. The team will then transfer the casualties from the safe haven air supply into a portable cylinder which will then mean they can be removed safely from the safe haven, brought out and connected to the manifold located on the cart. They will then be independently supplied from air which is through the cart. The car is developed to give eight people an hour's duration, breathing at 35 litres a minute.
During the testing phase, we've established that the cart is a viable product and does allow us to rescue eight people from the mine in the event of an emergency situation. We are discussing and working with key manufacturers and their research development teams in order to capture any possible improvements that could be made on the cart in future. As a professional rescue team, we understand about the importance of developing new technologies to cope in an ever-changing and challenging environment. The development of the car has proven this and we look forward to developing more technology to keep up with our changing mind and changes in legislation. We believe as a team we are very good at doing this and we look forward to future challenges in the coming years.